We have a package unit that's R410A refrigerant and we have a leak in this. So as soon as I turn the system on, my vapor saturated temperature goes down below 32 degrees and I have high superheat and low subcooling, which is all indications of a low refrigerant charge. So we're gonna find the refrigerant leak with the AccuTrack VPE Pro ultrasonic leak detector. So as you can see on this R410A unit, we have a pressure of 80 PSI on the low side gauge. If you bring that into the pink inner ring, we're reading 20 degrees saturated temperature. So uh, that is very low and it should always be above 32 degrees depending on the temperature inside the building. The higher the wet bulb temperature is in the building, the higher the low side will be. Uh, but in this case, we actually have high superheat and low subcooling. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and shut this unit off. We are, we're not going to add refrigerant because we need to find the leak first. So now we have the fins cut out and the highest reading that we found with the ultrasonic leak detector was the fourth tube down. So that's this one right here. And you can actually see the leak. It's on the tube in the middle of the three tube coil. So you can see you can even pinpoint the leaks with the ultrasonic leak detector. Then after you find a leak, you just go ahead and add a little bubble leak detector in order to pinpoint it down even further. I'm going to take you in for a close-up image of this. So there it is on that lower tube. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to recover the refrigerant out of this package unit and then I'm going to flow nitrogen through while brazing and then I'm going to have to pressure test the system vacuum pump it and then weigh in the correct amount of refrigerant based upon the factory charge on the rating plate since this is a package unit. 